Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Dreamworks Troll Hunters Tales of Arcadia action figures. The glory of Merlin, daylight is mine to command. Alright guys, so I got this little setup done right here. Um, I was taking a shot of my troll hunters, you know, having Jim in the front as he's the leader of the group, and then his sidekick, his sidekick Toby right behind him with Arg and Blinky in the background. Now if you haven't watched this show yet, it's a really, really good show. It's by Guillermo del Toro and it's on Netflix. There's two seasons out right now and my son and I over the weekend just dived right into it. We binge watched it all weekend and got caught up. And then I took him out to Target and we searched for these figures. So we actually found all of them at three different Targets. They're actually pretty hard to find now and online they're going for pretty pretty high prices, about 25 each figure. Um, these figures are $8.99 at Target and the bigger one, ARG, is $11.99. But online they seem to be going for a pretty high price. So let's just go ahead and dive into these figures to see what they're all about. Alright, so first up we have Jim, the Human Troll Hunter. Uh, if you haven't watched the show yet, um, the Troll Hunters, which he is, he's a troll hunter, um, is typically a troll, you know, one of these guys. But when the Troll Hunter died, the amulet from Merlin went and picked him, a human. So for the first time ever, it's a human troll hunter, and this is who Jim's character is. Now he has these armor plates on him in the show that when he says, um, for the glory of Merlin, daylight is mine to command, um, all this armor appears on him, and the sword is daylight, appears in his arm. So the articulation is pretty good on this figure. I mean, it's a 3 and 3 fourths figure, so the articulation is not too great, but we do have the 360 there. Arm can go up a little about that much because it's hindered by the armor. And we have a single joint, single jointed elbow, which has decent rotation. And you can 360 that, which is pretty cool. And then same thing on the other side, but this arm can go out a little better. Single joint, and no wrist hinge or anything, but you can rotate the elbow. And kicks up about that much, single jointed knee. Not a whole lot going on with these figures, they're only 8 bucks, and they're more for my son. But a really cool show if you haven't watched it yet. Let's go ahead and move on. Next up we have Jim's sidekick, Toby. Um, now he comes with some pretty cool accessories. Um, he comes with his pothead that has the flashlight attached right there. And it's pretty cool because I could use this on other figures and a pretty cool prop. Uh, but it comes shaped right there, you can see his little hair folds in there. And it doesn't fit perfectly on there, but you can rest it on top easily. Other than that, he comes with a baseball bat, and he comes with his locker room shield, his locker room door shield. That's a pretty cool gimmick. So there's his accessories, which go on and off pretty easily. Then in front, he has his lunch tray shield for his armor plates, and that's pretty cool. I like that it's actually painted and has detail in there. Then on his back, he has two fire extinguishers, like a rocket pack. That's a pretty cool little detail. And then, as for articulation, his arms can go up, but it's a little stiff right now. Can 360, and a single jointed elbow. Same thing on this side, over here he has a closed fist, over here he has open. And the head can 360, but, you know. Actually, I think it could only go about that far because the hair hits the bands right there. So that's as much articulation as you're going to get there. This can 360 right there, and he has a single jointed leg. Which is pretty cool because you could get him in a running pose pretty easily. Yeah. So that's the sidekick Toby. Let's go ahead and move on to one of the trolls. All right. So next up we have the brains of the group, Blinky. So he they gave him that name because he has six eyes and he blinks a lot. <laughs> so he also has four arms and he comes with two pouches on the little sides right there. And I like the way that the straps go all the way around. And that's a really cool little detail. I like the horns that came out, his hair looks really cool, the nose is cool, the eyes came out really cool. I like that he has the little details inside there like he does in the show. So I mean, these, these toys are really accurate to the show, 
you know, the ears pointing out, the horns, and the paint's really good on them, they're not bleeding out or anything like that. And on the back you can see his hair coming out, it's a pretty cool figure. So again, the articulation in the legs, you can 360, but there's really no reason to do that. You can 360 the arms, and they do have a single hinge where you can get them to go up and down. But these figures are really stiff, so they're more statues than action figures, to tell the truth. Well, this guy is anyways. Well, you can move his head left and right, but it is hindered by his hair. And now for one of my favorite characters, this is Arg. Now this is a bigger figure and he was a little pricier than the rest of them. He was $11.99. Um, not much art more articulation or anything like that, but he is, he is a heftier figure. So he does have a bit of articulation so you can get him to stand straight up. But he doesn't do that too much in the show, he's usually hunched down like this. So it's pretty cool that we have that option. And that's pretty much your only options with this figure. But it's a kid's toy. These are for my son. He has way more fun with them than I ever would, so... Again, I like this figure. The detail in the face came out really good. Um, I like the fact that, you know, you have options as far as his pose go. The horns came out really cool. The green in his fur looks good. The face looks good. And it's really accurate to the show. I mean, with toys like this, they're not really gonna miss, miss out. Because it is uh, an animated series. So, I mean, the designs are... The designs are always there. Alright guys, that's going to be it for my review of the Funko DreamWorks Troll Hunters Tales of Arcadia action figures. I hope you enjoyed my review. It's a really good show. If you're looking for something to watch with your kids, or you're just looking for a good animated TV show to watch, this is a really light-hearted, very adventurous show. Uh, one figure that we're still missing is Claire. That's the female figure of the show. Uh, we're missing that one, and we still have to get the villain uh, Gunmar. Still looking for that figure. But I'm really happy to have these ones. Like I said, if you're looking for a show to watch with your kids, I highly recommend this show. If you're looking for an animated show to watch, this is a great one. So please, if you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, let me know what you guys thought of this review, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.